Hello, good evening, everyone. God bless you. My name is Tochi Samuel. I'm here once again tonight to pray. I trust you are ready for tonight. Tonight, we shall be dealing with a very important topic. And the topic is victory over unfruitful labor. Victory over unfruitful labor. Have you realized that unfruitful labor is an affliction, not as a result of laziness? Those who actually suffer this unfruitful labor are those that work very hard. They do everything within their powers to get results. At the end, nothing comes up. If you begin to read the book of Genesis chapter 29, you would see something. That Jacob saw a lady by the name Rachel and wanted to marry her. The said in law Laban gave him a condition to serve him for seven years before he would get his desired wife. Guess what happened? He served for seven years. On the day he was to take Rachel, another person was provided for him. He cried. And Laban said to him, if you truly want Rachel, you will have to serve for another seven years. He had to serve another seven years, making it what? 14 years just to get Rachel. What does that tell you? Sometimes unfruitful labor is orchestrated as a result of the activities of people around you. Activities of human agents whom Satan uses to ensure that you remain perpetually in bondage. Furthermore, when you begin to study the book of um, St. Louis Gospel from verse chapter 5, rather, you will discover that Simon was in the boat. He toiled all through the night to see if he would get a fish. He never got. He did everything within his powers to get a fish, to even see if he would get something. Nothing happened. But the scriptures recorded that Jesus showed up and said, please give me your boat. They gave Jesus his, their boat and Jesus used it to preach. Thereafter, they told him that they toiled all through the night and nothing happened. Guess what happened? The scriptures showed us that Jesus told them, cast your net to this place. They did it and guess what? They got more than they could imagine. What does that tell you? It simply means that you need the hand of the supernatural. You need the hand of the heavenly, heavenly beings. You need the hand of the spirit of just men met perfect to do what? To break away from powers of unfruitful level. Tonight, we are about praying any power, any principality, any judgment, any injunction written anywhere that have said that you will continue to labor without result, it shall be canceled tonight. It shall be cancelled 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 tonight. Friends, it is time to pray. Gather around. If you have your friends, anybody around, tell them it's time to pray. And the topic is victory over unfruitful labor. You are going to pray this prayer. Say, my father, my maker. I want you to shout it. Say, my father, my maker. In the name of Jesus Christ, I paralyze every evil force at work against my business. Any evil force that is at work against my business, be paralyzed. Be paralyzed. Open your mouth and begin to pray now. Shuatia katovra das kilama ninto enkotia leku frataya etoria atika tochadaba leketovra dia antwa kati baratia mantoto e peredia izana manakuria na manatia leketo barata kateya lekete vadia kotia engede boroto kate gede gede jagada bada kato koto bahatia ila kwa kwa kuria na manatia mantete krate kete bada le degre de gede bada gada bada je gede brede gede gede la kwa taka taka bada je keto vada gada bada ikapala tia kato shada bada le gede brada gada 
dada bada ha karim brodi akila na manatosha ha letori akata dada dada bada ha every forces of the devil every forces of darkness that is against the works of my hand that is against my business that has made me to be unfruitful in the things I do in the name of Jesus be paralyzed be paralyzed be paralyzed be paralyzed be paralyzed open your mouth and begin to paralyze it open your mouth and begin to paralyze it any power any power that is causing unfruitful labor in your life let it be paralyzed any power that causes some fruitful labor in my business, in the words of my hand, I arrest you by the blood. I arrest you by the blood. Be paralyzed. Be paralyzed. Be paralyzed. I agada brada keto barata. Eshodo brada gada gada. Lekota brada skila na mana gada. Jana gada brada gada bada. Yekete brada gada bada. Jaga da gada bada bada. Lekete brada gada bada. Legede gede gada. Gada brada gada bada. Shana mana tia katosha. Ekoria gada bada bada. Lekoto brada gada bada. Legede brada gada. Ishana mana gada bada. Lekete kete. Ya kwata kata. Ya kwata kata. Ya kwata kata. Shana mana gada. Ekoria gada. Zegede brada. Ekata kata. Ekata kata. Ekata kata. Ekata kata. Ekata kata. Rede de de. Lekete gede. Vrada gada bada. La kwata kata. Ekoto koto. Egodo godo. Rekuria. Azaza. Mantoria. Ili parati. Zegede brada ya. Ika palata ya katosha. Manto koto barati ya. Izana mana tuwa kata. Li kwata kata kata. Li kwata kata kata. Li kwata kata kata. Igede gede gede. Igede gede gede. Ia pata kata bada. Rede de de de. Reda <laughs> Paralyze you. We paralyze you. We paralyze you. We paralyze you. Spirit of unfruitful labor. Out of our lives. Out of our lives. Out of our businesses. Out of our businesses. Whatever that we do. Whatever that is the most of our hand. That has been afflicted. That has been infected. That has been injected. With the demon of unfruitful labor. In the name of Jesus. We arrest that spirit. We arrest that spirit. Let our business. Let our businesses move forward. Let our businesses move forward. Let the words of our hand move forward. Ya katesha daba, zuriya katosha, mantoria itala bada, zegede brede gede, ya kwata kata daba bada, jaga de gede gede, izaza kuriya, eli paratwa kata ya, lekete brada gada, jaketo parati kata, zuzu frate ya, mankata kuriya, inga daba daba daba, inga daba daba daba. Leketo brada gadasha, leketo brada gadasha, leketo brada gadasha. In the name of Jesus, I also discovered that curses. When people are throwing curses at you, you could need to labor in. And when you labor, there is no fruit in it. This can just recorded in the book of Jeremiah chapter twenty-two, verse twenty-nine. That a prophet stood and said, "Write this one." 
who shall be barren all the days of his life. He shall be barren all the days of his life. He shall never prosper. What does that mean? It simply means in that scenario, that person will be leveling and doing everything. What others do and make money. In his own case, he will do it and he will be in debt. Why? Because there are causes that have been released against him. There are causes that have been released by even good men and evil men against him. Or are you going to pray and say, my father, my maker, every evil cause that is working against my life, that is working against my prosperity, be reversed. We reverse you by the blood of Jesus. We reverse you by the blood of Jesus. Oh, put your mouth and begin to pray. Oh, put your mouth and begin to pray. Walking against my head, walking against the words of my hand, walking against my breakthrough, walking against my life. Any injunction in that has led to cause in the name of Jesus, I scatter it by the blood, I reverse it by the blood. Let it be reversed, let it be reversed. Any cause that is placed on me without living on any God, let the blood of Jesus reverse it, let the blood of Jesus reverse it, let the blood of Jesus reverse it, let the blood of Jesus reverse it. 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 Let of Jesus reverse it. Let the blood of Jesus Every form of cause, any cause or sin that makes you to walk with that. Let it be reversed. Child of God, begin to reverse it. Ya da da ba da ba da. Ya da da ba da ba da. Ele te to ba da. I janda manatwa ya. E te ru tata ya. Ze ke te ba da ya. Man te te kata ya. E ze de 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 re te ya. I kata kata ba da. I kata kata ba da. Ele de 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 de. I janda da ba da. Le ko to ba da. A kwa ta kata. A kwa ta kata. E la kwa ta kata. E sh. Shadowed <laughs> Any cause, any injunction, place in my life that is working against me, that is working against the words of my hand, that is working against my business. I reverse it by the blood. I reverse it by the blood. Be reversed by divine authority. 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 Be reversed. Any causes, any injunction issued against your life, issued against the words of my hand, issued against my life, issued 
against the walls of my hand. It should against my business. Be reversed. Be reversed by the blood. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. First, we are still praying. We are taking victory over unfruitful labor. Friends, I have also discovered that why people labor and there is no fruit in, in it is as a result of covenants entered into by your forefathers. You were not there when they entered into that covenant. But that covenant has you have grown to be a partaker of such covenants. This is the reason why you go to some families, you enter some families, they are not prospering. And when you begin to use prophetic eyeglasses to uncover what could be the cause, you will discover that the family, their grandfathers, they entered into a covenant with the deity. And maybe they are converted with the deity to give them children in place of prosperity. And these children, they are alive today. The more they labor, the more they suffer. They labor and there is no fruit. You are going to lift your hands now. You are going to say, My father, my maker. My father, my maker. Any covenant of a fruitful level entered into from my paternity or by my paternity or by my maternity. I break away. I break away. I am not lit by the blood. Open your mouth and begin to amol. Open your mouth and begin to amol. any covenant entered into by my forefathers by anybody on my behalf that is affecting the words of my hand that is affecting my prosperity that has made me to rise, not to rise into prominence or remain in prominence by divine authority I separate myself 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 by divine authority I am no such covenant I am no such covenant I was not there when the covenant was entered therefore I restrain and remove myself from such covenant child of God open your mouth begin to bring all and voice to every evil covenant entered on your behalf that is causing you on such a level Any covenant entered by anybody on my behalf, entered by my paternity, entered by my maternity, that is affecting me. La quata kata, le koto koto bada, je kete kete bada, in la quata kata ya, ze rusha nama natia, eko palataya kata, zebra de kutia bada, le pradi katosha, mantata kuria nama nata, ende de 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 de, ende de 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 de, ende de 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 de, mashiga da malaga da, mashiga da malaga da, mashiga da malaga da, mashiga da malaga da, ra kwa 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 kata, le kete kete. Jagada, 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 Jagada,
by my father's by my mother that is working against me let me come and say enter into by my forefathers speaking against me scatter by fire 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 in the mighty name of jesus amen friends if you are a contractor for instance and you will get a client that will tell you bring your quotation and you bring your quotation you will do everything within your powers to see that the job will be given to you that minute the job is taken away from you and given to another person it simply shows that there is a demon that causes unfruitful labor in your life some of you would even go as far as using your money to execute the project Believing that your client will pay you thereafter, it will result to litigation. Why? Because there are demons, there are powers, there are spoken words, there are injunctions, there are executive orders, there are, there are judgments that have been given that is causing you on fruitful level. You walk, you do everything within your powers. When it is time to repeat, there will be a story. On fruitful level, you are in a relationship. When it's time to get married, the person will tell you you are not his or her type. Demon of unfruitful level. You are going to pray and say, Father, whatever that makes me not to eat the fruit of my level, let that demon be arrested. Let that power be arrested. Let that power be arrested. Power be arrested. Say, My Father, my Maker, any demon, any judgment, any authority, any executive order, any injunction. Any form of orchestration in the realm of the spirit that causes me not to eat the fruit of my lamp. Be arrested by the blood. Be arrested by the blood. Use my address permanently. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Every spirit that causes me not to enjoy the fruit of my labor, you demon that has signed, that has made it practically impossible for me to eat the fruit of my labor. What are you waiting for? Be arrested by the blood. 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 Any demon that has made us, that has made it possible for us to labor without resource, we arrest Ekoro 
Tobana, a Sosokra Takata, a Latua Katea, a Gende Baratia, a Korana Manata, a Sodomana, 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 a La quarta cata, la quarta cata, a solo madamana. In the mighty name of Jesus, in agreement, we put an end to the demon of unfruitful labor. Anyone that is going through the spirit of unfruitful labor, receive your deliverance now. Receive your deliverance now. Receive your deliverance now. Receive your deliverance now. Whoever that has cost you, which which has made it practically impossible for you to be fruitful in your areas of endeavor, in your business, in the works of your hand, by the blood of Jesus and the grace that is evident on this altar, we reverse it, we reverse it, we reverse it, we reverse it. it. Any judgment, any covenant entered by anybody that is affecting you, that is passing you on fruitful level, by divine authority, we speak. We scatter such convenience. We scatter such convenience. We scatter such convenience. We scatter those convenances. Father, you said in your word that you wish a baby relative that we prosper, even as our health prosper, even as even as we prosper in good health. My Father, my Maker, let prosperity be visible in our lives. In our lives, no more unfruitful labor. No more unfruitful labor. No more unfruitful labor. No Every spirit of Jacob, Jacob. Presents laboring without fruitfulness. Yakato Kotovana, any laban in our lives, any laban in our lives, causing us on fruitful level, causing us on fruitful level, be arrested, be arrested, out of the way, out of the way, out of the way, Yakato Sha, out of the way, we cause you, we cause you, lose our address permanently, lose our address permanently. Father, whatever that has been programmed. In the realm of the spirit, to cause any or any one of us shame, we reverse it. We reverse it from the throne. We reverse it from the throne. We reverse it. We are cut off Father, just like Simon labored in the book of Luke chapter five, and you showed up and gave him breakthrough. Father, we have labored without result. We invite you into our affairs. We invite you into our affairs. Take charge. Take charge. Take charge. Take the child, the child, the child. No more the boat that's with us. No more the boat that's with us. No more the boat that's with us. Let's for whatever we lay our hands to do shall prosper. Whatever we lay our hands to do shall prosper. Whatever we lay our hands to do must prosper. Must prosper. Must prosper. Must prosper. Must prosper. Must prosper. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father, because we know you have had us this morning and this evening. And we declare that our testimonies shall begin to come through. Through this prayers tonight, let testimonies begin to come through. Let the angels that was for the set man of this commission see to it that answers are come through. That answers come through. That answers come through. We present testimonies in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father, because we know you've answered us tonight. In the name of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Friends, I believe you enjoyed that prayer section. Do not stop praying. Prayer works. The God that answered by fire will surely answer you. I see you some other time. God bless you.